Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the final episodes of The Crown Season 6 Part 2. If you're a fan of historical drama and the British royal family, you are in for a treat. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things about entertainment. Now let's get into it. The final season of The Crown has generated a lot of buzz, especially with its focus on the latter years of Queen Elizabeth II's reign. But does it live up to the hype? Let's break it down. The first noticeable absence is Princess Diana, played by Elizabeth Dipke. Her presence dominated the earlier seasons, but now, without her, there's a sense of disorientation. The show feels quieter, the colors muted, and the volume dim. It's a departure from the high drama we've come to expect from The Crown. As the series moves closer to the present, it seems to lose some of its earlier charm as a lavish period piece. The focus shifts to Prince William, the future British monarch, and his university love story with Kate Middleton. The events portrayed lack the tabloid scandal or sorrow we've seen in earlier seasons, making it feel less compelling for some viewers. Despite the slower pace, there are standout performances from Imelda Staunton as Queen Elizabeth and Leslie Manuel as Princess Margaret. Episode 8, titled Ritz, is a particular highlight exploring the relationship between the Queen and Margaret during the latter's declining health. The performances by Staunton and Manuel are deeply compelling and moving. The series finale brings a few surprises, making it worth your time. However, some viewers might find that watching the standout episode Ritz and the finale is sufficient to get the full experience. One of the challenges faced by The Crown in its final season is the transition from the older generation of royals like Charles and Diana to the younger generation, particularly Prince William and Prince Harry. The limited time makes it difficult to fully develop these characters, leaving some viewers wanting more. In the end, The Crown concludes its epic journey with a focus on mortality, legacy and the enduring significance of tradition. While it may not be as sensational as earlier seasons, the series stays true to its core themes of consistency, obligation and stoicism. And that wraps up our review of The Crown Season 6 Part 2. Have you watched it or not? What are your thoughts on the final episodes? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as always, subscribe for more content like this.